to today's class. I have two videos of stream happening. I have the YouTube video recording over here and I have the Instagram live happening over here. So if I happen to be looking in two different directions, that is why. So I'll do my best to make sure I give you guys plenty of eye contact, but just forgive me if that's not happening. Um, so today is a full body yoga workout. We're going to be doing a lot of full body engagement work. Um, our apex pose of the class will be equal pose. So we, the class will work its way up to equal pose before we then start to slowly come back down into a cool down and then a shavasana. So uh, we'll be doing our sound salutations, a bit of a warm up to begin with as well, nice and gentle before we start to really get into our flow. So we're going to begin in a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall through our spine, making sure that we're on the center of our sit bones. And to feel those bones, it's just the bony parts underneath your hips that you can feel on the floor if you wriggle from side to side a little bit. And you wanna be up on the center of those. So try not to round the spine or roll forwards. You wanna be up on the middle, sending energy up through the spine and out through the top of the head, lengthening up through towards the head. And then your sit bones are going to be grounding you down into the earth beneath you. Palms can be facing down to the earth or facing up to the heavens, whatever sort of energy you feel you need to receive, and then closing down your eyes. Simply just breathing through your nose here. We're not trying to change the breath just yet. We just want you to tune into your breathing and noticing your body. So coming back to your breath in your warm-up, or 
so it helps you stay in your body and out of your head. Coming into the shoulders, placing the hands on top of the shoulders, circling around. The bigger the circles you can make with your elbows, the bigger the rotation you can get through the joints. And don't stress if you're not that flexible through your shoulders, it's very common. If you happen to click or crack as well, as long as there's no pain, that's completely fine. My shoulders always like to crack in this position. And we'll change direction coming forwards. Rotating the hands around. Articulating through the fingers as well so you get the blood flowing. And changing directions. Always coming back to your breath. I may sound like a broken record throughout class, always talking about the breath, but it's incredible just how much the mind does wander. And we'll come into some flashlights. Really, really tight fist and strong, nice strong fist. Opening out, really strong hands, nice and open. In, nice and tight, and open. Slowly getting a little bit faster, picking up the pace, getting that blood pumping through the limbs. Try to make sure you're still articulating the open shape here and then shaking it out. Coming into our elbows, arms are nice and straight out to the side. We're just bending from the elbow joint, coming in and opening. So in this position, you can squeeze your shoulder blades together, activating through the upper back here, waking up those muscles as well, which will be really good when we do our chaturangas and also our warriors. And coming the other way, up to the sky, down and open. And shaking through the hands once more. Going to warm up through the legs a little bit here and through the hips. So just leaning back gentle on your mat, feet are hip width apart, knees are hip width apart. We're going to pigeon toe the toes in just a little bit towards one another and swiping the knees from side to side. Loosening up our lower back, getting a gentle twist through the torso as well. And this is a nice massage on the hips and the glutes. Noticing what the breath is doing. And sitting up nice and tall, we're going to cross the legs underneath us, coming into a tabletop position. Over we go. Hands and knees are stacked over the tops of the joints, making sure that our shoulders are stacked over the tops in line with the elbows and the wrists. And checking as well that our knees are stacked underneath our hips and checking our ankles behind us and tracking in the same direction, making sure there's a gap between your feet so our toes aren't touching, they're tracking in the same hip width apart. Pushing through the hands, I want you to come to your flashlight hands, really spread your fingers wide before planting them down onto the mat, and then placing pressure through the fingerprints and the thumb prints, and getting some, making sure that your nails are a bit white, shows you that there's some pressure through your nails, through your fingers and hands here. We're strengthening through the hands so that we don't uh, weaken into our wrists and our forearms, and by having nice strong hands and building that strength, we're going to be preventing injury through those areas. Coming into cat-cow, we inhale, drop the belly, look up, tilt the pelvis behind you. Exhale, push through your shoulders all the way up to the sky, tuck the chin tightly and concave through the pelvis. Inhale, coming through, look up at the eyes as well. Exhale, tuck that chin tightly, navel to spine, really suck up all the way to the roof. Inhale. Inhale, so here we're warming up our spine, really important to get the spine nice and warm. Inhale, coming through, drop the belly. Exhale. Inhale, spinal health is so important as we age and just in general. Coming through once more, inhale, look up. Exhale, really press through up through 
the shoulders here and finding a neutral spine. We're going to inhale here before we move. As you exhale, you're going to look behind you, creating a C-shape with the side body, stretching through. Inhale back to center. Exhale other way, looking at your tail behind you. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, moving through. Inhale back to center, last one. Exhale. Inhale back to center. So keep finding your center, make sure that your Mula Bandha and Uddiyata Bandha are activated. That is your pelvic floor and your navel to spine. So when I say Mula Bandhas or Bandhas, that those are the areas that we are talking about. So pelvic floor is switched on, navel to spine is activated and these are both working at the same time throughout the entire class. We're going to come through into our downward dog, so making sure our bundles are switched on, we inhale. As you exhale, tuck the toes behind you, you're going to move your hips all the way back to your heels as much as you can, keeping pressure through your hands. We take another inhale. As you exhale, dropping the head, pressing the body weight into the hands and feet, hips come up to the sky. Gentle bend through the knees so that you can still tilt your pelvis up behind you and sending your chest towards your thighs, belly and chest towards your thighs, really important. Making sure that you're pressing the floor away from you and that your ears are next to your biceps here. Just letting the eyes drift naturally towards the center of your mat. And we're going to pedal through the feet. So we're still getting the body warm here. Downward dog is a nice inversion that you can do. Really good for the lungs, downward dog, as we are upside down, so it really gets the blood moving around the body. Any sort of stagnant blood really oxygenates those areas. Keep pushing that floor away from you. Pedal, 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 pedal. You'll start to feel through the backs of your legs, the calves, as you pedal here. Really good to get the blood flowing and moving through our warm up. Stopping the pedal here, we take an inhale, chest and belly towards thighs, exhale, you're going to look forwards, we're going to walk our feet to our hands. Taking a gentle forward fold here, you can choose to have your hands on the mat, on your ankles, or you can cross your heart arms in front of you and just hang over. Keeping your body weight evenly between the heels and the balls of the feet. And if you feel the need for an extra lengthening through the backs of the legs, simply just shift your body weight forwards into the balls of the feet. Breathing here two rounds, we inhale. Exhale, you can do some yeses and noes with the head to loosen the neck. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to drop the arms down to the floor Slight bend through the knees. You can bend as much as you would like here. We're going to roll up through the spine. Take your time here, nice and gentle. One vertebrae at a time. Stacking the joints once you get to the top. And then roll up your shoulders back. We'll do two shoulder rolls back. Find your Tadasana, so mountain pose. Palms facing forwards here. And just letting the arms hang naturally by your side with the palms flipped in front of the room. Find your center between the balls of the feet and the heels. With a slight gentle micro bend in the knees so we're not locking into the backs of our legs. Stuffing the joints from the ankles all the way to the top of the head, finding your alignment. And also using your energy with that equilibrium between force and relax. Find your happy medium. Tucking the tailbone ever so slightly down towards the ground. And as if you're wearing a pair of jeans, zipping up the front of your pelvic bone to the front of the navel. Rib cages in, shoulders are broad and open, tucking the chin just ever so slightly. And taking a mental snapshot of how this feels in your body right now. This is your Tadasana for the rest of the class. So every time we come back to our uh, Tadasana throughout our salutations and so on, this is the position that you feel into, that you come back to. Feeling the groundedness through your legs, feeling strong just like the mountain. 
eyes open if they're closed, two shoulder rolls around. We're going to come into our flow here. Inhale, arms lift, touch at the top, we exhale. We're going to come all the way down to the floor, tapping the mat lightly. You're going to plant your hands firmly while you're here. We're going to step back straight into our downward dog. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, looking forward, we're going to bring our right foot to the front of the mat in a nice, deep, low, parallel lunge, swiping it up to high crescent lunge. Now you can do cactus arms here, or you can do nice, high, energized arms. It's up to you, choose your favorite one. I personally will do the cactus arms today. We're in a nice, deep, Low lunge, hips are still parallel to the front of the room, same with your toes. Taking an inhale. Exhale, you're going to pivot on your back foot, opening out into warrior two. Find your warrior two nice and strong. This stance should feel too wide for your comfortable little body. So it should feel like it's almost the full length of your mat, not quite. Inhale here. We're going to tip forward into half crescent moon. So to do this, we're going to push off our back foot. We're going to tip forward, keeping the arms at shoulder height as we go. You might need to do a little skip to the front with the back foot before coming on over. So as you do this, use your eyes and aim for the floor, flexing the back foot so that energy comes out through the heel arms straight up to the sky. So we're sort of in this crisscross position here. We're not gonna stay here for long, just to move through, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna bend your supporting leg, stepping back onto your mat for safety. Inhale, we reverse our warrior. Head comes to the back leg, looking up to the sky. Inhale, coming straight back up. We're going to pivot on our back foot to bring our foot 45 degrees. You may need to shuffle your back leg in ever so slightly. Hands to the hips, we're going to square up to the front of our foot. Our front foot, our toes are still facing straight ahead to the front of the room. Taking an inhale. Exhale in with the heart forwards, we're coming down to the floor. You'll feel the hamstring stretch through that front leg, making sure that both knees are straight here. Beaming the heart out towards your foot. We're going to take a belly twist here, a closed twist, keeping both legs straight. We're going to leave the hand on the mat that's on the inside of the front foot, and we're going to peel the arm up to the sky, twisting towards that front leg. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, coming down back to the mat. You can bend through that front leg. We're going to step forwards, feet, are touching together into a forward fold. Take an inhale. Exhale, you're going to sweep the arms behind you nice and low, deeply into a, into a chair pose. Take a breath, inhale. And exhale, heart center. Back to our Tadasana. That is one completed side of our flow. Here we go. Other side, we inhale. Exhale all the way through, forward fold. We're going to take another breath here, inhale. Exhale, stepping straight back into downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, stepping through with the opposite foot now. High crescent lunge, taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, opening out, warrior two. Make sure that your back foot is parallel with the back of your mat here in warrior two. Palms are flipped up to the sky and your shoulder blades are activated, squeezing those together. From here, we come into our half crescent moon. Remember, we can shuffle and push off that back foot, tipping straight over as we go. Coming through, use your eyes and focus. Inhale. Arm is straight up to the sky. Other hand is down onto the floor. Exhale, bend through your supporting legs, stepping back into warrior two. Inhale, reversing warrior. Exhale, back to our warrior here. We're then going to come through 
onto a 45 degree angle with our back foot and coming down to the floor. Belly and chest aiming towards that leg, heart is beaming out towards the foot. We're going to peel the opposite side as we come up, placing the inside hand down, peeling that one up, inhale. Exhale, coming on down. We're going to push off our back foot, step into the front of the mat. Feet are touching, forward fold. Take a breath, we inhale. As you exhale, sweeping the arms forward into chair pose, nice deep seat. Shifting your body weight back onto your heels and then coming up through our Tadasana. We're going to do the same thing again on each side now that we know what we're doing. Try and put a little bit more energy and confidence into our postures. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, stepping on back, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, stepping on forwards. High crescent lunge. Inhale, coming on up, squeeze through that upper back. Exhale, warrior two, squeeze through your upper back still. Deep lunge to the front. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to tip on over. Half crescent. Inhale. Exhale, gentle transition to the back of the room. We reverse our warrior. Inhale. Exhale, set your foot up behind you. 45 degree angle. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to peel and twist towards that leg. Exhale, coming on down. Stepping forward, inhale. Exhale, sweep those arms, chair pose. And coming up, Tadasana. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Nice deep lunge to the front of the room. High present lunge coming on up. We inhale. Exhale, opening out. Warrior two. Nice and deep. Activate through the legs, through the arms. Inhale. Exhale, pushing off that back foot over into half present moon. Inhale. Exhale, bend through your supporting leg. Stepping back. Warrior two. Inhale. 45 degree angle on that back foot, coming on down to the front leg. Exhale through as you come through. We inhale here. Exhale, peel the, that outside arm all the way up to the sky. Press through that bottom hand and the feet. Inhale. Exhale, coming on through, back to the leg. Stepping forward into forward fold. Take a breath, we inhale. Exhale, swipe the hands forwards, chair pose, sitting back on those heels. And coming up into prayer, find your Tadasana. We should be all nice and sweaty at this point. Take a little sip of water here if you'd like. Bundles are activated and then coming on forwards. 
Big toes are touching. Feet are in the middle of your mat here, forward fold. Simply letting the head hang, upper body hang, drop the arms, we're going to roll up through that spine. Feeling that strength through the feet and the legs supporting you. Two shoulder rolls at the top, opening up. To come through to our standing sequence, we're going to start with tree pose. Hands come to heart center. We're going to shift our body weight over to our left foot. Simply to feel that shift of body weight, grounding down through every single toe into the earth and making sure your body weight is in the center of your heels at the ball of the foot. Placing the foot back down, we're just practicing our shifting of the weight. Noticing the types of muscles that need to activate to keep us stable. Placing down and doing the same to the other side, taking notice of which muscles are activating. And finding our center. We're going to then shift back over onto the original side, so standing on the left leg. Raising the right knee up in line with the hip, flexing the toes up to the kneecap. We're going to open out to the side and this is where you can grab onto the ankle, placing the foot either above the knee to help support you or below the knee. And if you need that extra bit of support, you can tap your toes on the floor. Never place your foot on your knee because your knee joint is a vulnerable place for pressure. You don't want to be placing unwanted pressure through the leg. Finding where you need to be and then using your gaze to focus and this will help you balance. Breathing, we inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. challenge you can stretch the arms up to the sky and opening out and then if you want a bit more of a challenge you can then sway the wind from side to side coming back through your center finding your prayer position we're going to reverse the way we came so lifting the knee up to the side parallel to the front and back down to the mat. Finding your center and taking notice of how you feel. We've just done one side here. Taking an inhale. Exhale, we're going to switch to the other side. I'm just going to slightly change my angle. Switching through, we're standing on our right foot here. Inhale, we raise the knee and line up with the hip, making sure the toes are flexed up to the kneecap. Exhale out to the side, grabbing onto the ankle and finding your tree. Using your eyes to help you focus. And if you're not the same as you are on the other side, it doesn't matter. Most of us don't happen to be symmetrical. Using our gaze to focus and balance and holding. Inhale. Exhale. Inviting in more of a challenge with the arms, up and out. Inhale. Exhale, sway in the wind if you like. Inhale. Exhale. Back through heart center. And we're going to reverse the way we came again, up to the side, parallel with the hip, and coming on down. So we're now approaching our apex pose of the class, which is our eagle pose. So to do eagle pose, staying the feet together, parallel toes are facing the front of the room. Similar to before, we're switching our body weight over onto a supporting leg. You can come into a bent position through both legs here, just tapping the toe on the floor just to help activate. Keeping our bundles awake and alive, these will help balance. And we're going to cross the leg over the top. Keeping the supporting leg nice and bent here. Now, if you have the mobility to then wrap your toes around your calf or ankle at the bottom, you can. But simply, if that's too tricky, doesn't matter, just cross over the top. But what I want you to think of 
is whatever parts of the feet, legs, or thighs are touching the other, I want you to squeeze those together. I want you to create resistance and placing pressure between those points is really good for our lymphatic fluid. We're going to then come into the arms. So relax the legs for now. Let's talk about the arms here. Placing the arms out in line with the shoulders here, bent and the hands are straight up to the sky. We're going to bring the right one over the top of the left, elbows kissed together. We're then bringing the left hand towards our face as they switch around. So let me do that one again. Coming up through here, right comes over the top of the left, crossing, creating some pressure here. We come around as the hand meets the face and they can come together the best that they can. And this is what my eagle looks like. Everyone's eagle will look slightly different because we all have different flexibility and different mobility. To get an extra stretch as we come into this eagle pose, I want you to try and lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders just a little bit. Then if you would like more of a stretch through your shoulders, you can then press your hands away from you, getting a bit more of an extra stretch through the tops of our traps and shoulder blades. So those are the arms, and if it's too complicated for you and you're not quite ready for it, that's totally fine. If you had to choose between the arms or the legs, do the legs. You can have your hands in heart center into prayer as you do it, or hands on your hips. I'm going to do both as we come through now. So coming through to prayer, I just want you to center through your feet again. Take a breath here, we inhale. Exhale, switch on over. We're standing on our left leg. Inhale again. Exhale, we're going to take a seat, crossing the feet and the legs. You can then come into your arms. And again, using your eyes to focus, super important. Squeeze through your midline, so there's pressure between your arms and your hands. There's pressure between your thighs and your legs, squeezing, raising up those uh, elbows if you would like. We're going to hold here for two rounds, we inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, gently come up and unwind. Find your center, inhale through the arms, exhale, heart center. Take a breath, we inhale. Exhale, switch your body weight over to the other side. Inhale here, don't move. And then we'll exhale to execute your eagle. So arms, remember, we're switching them over. So the left one comes over the top, switching around and we hold, squeeze through your midline. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, coming out, unwind, flow out the arms, inhale, find your center. We're going to do a sun salutation, flow out, step into the top of our mat. A little reset, here we go, inhale, exhale, coming through, inhale, halfway, exhale, plant the hands firmly, stepping back to high plank, top of a push up. Tailbone is down, we inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale as you expand, coming on up. Exhale, pressing back. Downward dog, we take an inhale. Exhale, coming down into child's pose. Take a rest, everybody. You definitely deserved it. Feel free to close your eyes here.
onto our bottoms, sitting up again nice and tall on those sit bones. We're going to come into a bit of a butterfly position with the legs here. Soles of the feet are touching together, sitting up tall on your sit bones. And if you need to extend your feet further out in front of you, then you can do this as well. Inhale, we raise the chest and the heart. Exhale, leaning with the heart, coming on to a forward fold. Feeling the stretch through the groin, through the upper parts of our hamstrings, glutes possibly too. Inhale. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, gently roll out of this, and up we come. Coming on over to a glute stretch, sitting up again, making sure we're on our sit bones in the center. We're crossing one leg over the other, planting that foot down to the mat, spine is lifted, we inhale. Exhale, we start our twist behind us from the navel first. Shoulders follow, head is last. Hugging that knee into our chest, feeling a stretch through our groin. Uh, through our groin, feeling a stretch through our glute. Inhale. Sure that 
The back of your head is on your mat. And lengthening all the legs out in front of you, letting the feet flop to the side. Palms are traditionally facing up to the sky, but if you would like to stay a little bit more grounded and present in your body throughout your Shavasana, you can place one or both hands on the body, and this will help you feel your breath. We're going to do a meditative body scan here. Starting at the top of the head and working our way down to ground us. Bringing your awareness to the point behind your head.
lighter in energy, but grounded at the same time. Feeling your entire body. down to the mat to bring you up into a cross-legged position facing the front of your room finding those sit bones un underneath you once again we're going to do three rounds of breathing here through the nose and we're going to sigh out through the mouth these are very releasing and letting go breaths so really let go and move through it inhale through the nose Side out. Inhale. Last one. Inhale. Placing your hands at heart center. Moving your hands up to your third eye. May I feel gratitude for my mind and everything that it gives me. Moving your hands to your lips, connecting to your voice. May I feel gratitude for my voice and everything that it gives me in helping me speak love and kindness to others, but definitely to myself. Bringing your hands to your heart, honoring your heart space here and tuning in. May I feel gratitude for my heart and everything that it gives me, helping guide me forward in this lifetime and helping me feel and speak into my truth. Take a moment to center yourself here, a centered breath. Namaste. beautiful souls for joining me on the mat today and please like and subscribe uh, let me know of any other videos you might like to see or your favorite stretch of the class today and comment down below with this and I will see you guys really soon love you so much